So can Radislav Pantelev add another gold medal to the one that Stanimira Petrova won this afternoon? This is the heavyweight division. Beat Soha Buafia of France, unanimous decision in the semi-finals. Boxed at the World Championships in Belgrade last autumn. Lost to Julio Le Cruz in the prelims, so didn't get a great draw. Bronze medalist at the previous edition of the Worlds in 2019 and won here last year too. Beating Narek Manassian in the final. And here's the out of the blue corner, And representing Uzbekistan, this is Maydai Sejraksimov. He got past Absal Kutibekov, 5-0 in his semi-final. Got a bronze medal in Belgrade. He ran into La Cruz as well, but in the semi-finals. That's Sejrak Simov, Uzbekistan. Didn't get a look in for the Olympics last year. He was behind Sanjar Tosunov in the queue, but maybe now this is going to be his time. Right hand to the body there from Sejrak Simov. Pantelev with that high guard will look to come forward. Right hand to the body there. Seemed to move Pantelev a bit. That was solid from Sejrak Simov. The referee stopped things to have a quick word. I'm not entirely sure what about because that seemed like a, a legal punch to me. There's that one two from Sejrak Simov. Pantelev marauding forward. This is where he needs to get the fight. He's got to get it up close. He needs to do whatever he can to, to get it at that range. Sejrak Simov, by the look of, me, look of him, has got the the tools to keep this longer on the outside and that's what he needs to do. Right hand to the side of the head there from Sejrak Simov. Goes with the left to the body. Pantelev trying to move that head on the way in. The referee again speaking to Sejrak Simov there, long left hand to the body. I'm not sure what about. Keeping his punches up, maybe, but I don't think there was anything wrong with the two so far. Maybe just talking to him about slapping that's another possibility the gum shield has come out the referee has stuck it in his pocket he'll wait for a, a natural break in things before he stops boxing and gets that put back in say Draksimov again just keeping it on the outside is pinging Pantelev as he comes forward to the body not so much to the head Well, I'm not sure what it was that spilled out. It can't have been a gum shield because the referee would have would have stopped things by now to get that put back in. And just talking to the pair of them about heads there. Heading into the final minutes of the round. Pantelev catches Sejrak Simov with the right hand there. The crowd enjoyed that. He's losing this opening round so far, the Bulgarian. He's got to, to make his mark in the final minute. And when you fight like this, that's often what can happen. You have to stay patient, you have to trust the method. But OK, you might not have too much joy in the first two minutes, but you, but you will get to your man. You say Draximov there, just swinging and connecting with thin air. Pantelev has covered up fairly well, but enough has got through from the Uzbek, I would say. Sitting down on that right hand better there, Sejrak Simov. Planting those feet and letting it go. Final 10 seconds. Nice to the right hand there from Pantelev. Just rolled off to his right. And managed to find room for it.
the referee's badge up the front of his shirt that actually came off in the middle of the round there. He's just delicately reattaching it. So Draximov taking it across the board there, 10 nines, easy round to score. Pantaleev, as I say, will have to trust in his method, keep bringing the heat. He will lose the first round fairly often, fighting the way he does. But when you get into the middle of round two, that's the point at which what you're doing needs to start paying dividends. So into the second round, Sejak Simov giving that ground, looking for the long uppercut. Pantelev with a big right hand, but he's a little bit of a slap. Sejak Simov just tips him round the back of the head. For good measure, as Pantelev ended up with his back to him in the corner. Pantelev found a couple to the body there. Sejak Simov, though, if he gets it at that distance, then he could just let his hands go. He does tend to lean in quite a lot, Diaz, but the chin comes up. But Pantelev can't really get close enough to take advantage of that. So Draximov just bundling him down to the canvas. He does need to be slightly careful here, the fighter in blue. The referee's spoken to him now a few times. I don't think he's done enough to warrant a point deduction, and indeed there hasn't been one, but... He certainly wouldn't want that. So heading towards the midway point of round two, and this is now reaching the critical stage for Pantelev, the middle minute of the middle round. This is when the pressure that he's trying to bring to bear has to start to make an impact. And at the moment, there's no particular sign that it will. right hand there from Sejrak Simov, he avoided the left hook, he just stepped back and slightly out, offline, and then just punched down with his right hand, right to the body there, then looks to try and sling one in round the back of the guard. The work rate has got to be high when you've got someone like Pantaleev in front of you, you have to just keep punching, keep him occupied, don't let him get up close where he wants to fight. He's not really hurt Pantelev at any point, but every time you hit him, every time you hit your opponent with a good solid shot, whether it's forearms, gloves, or it half gets through or it gets through clean, they, they have to stop, reset, and start again. And I say Draximov has kept his man off him, doing exactly that. Left hand followed by right. Pantelev got up a bit closer there. Closing stages of round two. Good right hand there from Beelsbeck and Pantaleo just managed to soak that one up. You could see that it just set that head backwards. That goes the bell at the end of round two, so that'll be two rounds in the bank there for Uzbekistan, who will be on course for their fourth gold of proceedings so far today. This day one of the finals. Day two coming up tomorrow. Well, one judge, Kosovo judge, has gone for Antalev in there, but the other four go for Sejak Simov, so he's got that, that big buff, buff, buff for that big cushion going into the third and final round, and Pantalev has, has got to find something huge here, to be honest. He needs 10 8. He needs to convert that one score of 19 apiece in his direction, and then with two of the other judges, he needs a 10 8 in this final round, and then for both of them to go his way on their judges' decision. It's unlikely, but this is heavyweight. If it's going to happen any any division, then the higher you go up in weight, the more likely it becomes. And again, 
forward comes Pantaleev, but Sejrak Simov has just been happy to stand there, let his hands go and just give it to him as he tries to walk him down. Nice right hand from Sejrak Simov who turns south ball. The only way I can see this really going wrong for Sejrak Simov in this final round is if he gives away a point deduction. He just tapped Pantelev on the back of the head there a few seconds ago again when his opponent had spun round. There's absolutely no need for it. There's not anything to be gained from it at all. He's got this fight under control and just been told to keep his punches up there. I wouldn't be amazed to see a point go at some stage here. Again, he just clips Pantelev on the back of the head there. Good evasive work from the cameraman over in the neutral corner on the far side. Well, there we go. There we go. Just as I was saying it, he's hit him around the back of the head. The referee just, just spreading his arms wide there. And he's absolutely right because he's done it three times, at least three times and he's had to take the point. Now that changes things completely because if Pantelev can win this round, 10-9, and with the point deduction that turns into 10-8, and then we could have some judges' decisions to go on. So Draksimov off the back foot there again, just throwing that right hand. For me, the Uzbek is winning this final round. But if Pantelev can produce a big finish here, then this will get very, very tight. Generally speaking, in my experience anyway, if you end up with level scores because of a point deduction, the judges, more often than not, give the nod in favour of the fighter who has had the point deduction, who would have won without it. That just seems to be what happens. It's not a rule, not by any stretch. Nice left hand to the body there from Sejrak Simov, who's just making this, or has made this, more difficult than it needed to be because he's only got himself to blame for that deduction. Left to the body again there from Sejrak Simov. Pantelev has just been coming forward, coming forward all the time throughout the whole nine minutes. Sejrak Simov for me has done enough to win this three rounds to nil, although you would probably say that this third round has been Pantelev's best round of the fight. I don't think it's enough to to win it but should some of the judges disagree then when you throw in the point deduction this could get very very sweaty for Madia Sejrak Simov decision so 4-0 29 27 what would have been 30 points to 27 with four of the judges 28 28 with the Kosovan judge And Uzbekistan pick up their fourth gold medal. So Bulgaria again just coming up short. Pantelev, Diaz, Nikolov all picking up silvers. Stanimira Petrova, who as I said is just in front of me. She managed to take gold for the home nation. I think we've got some medal ceremonies coming up now. It was a good fight, that. As I said, it's always interesting to watch those kinds of fights when you've got 
a very obvious formula. You've got the, the taller fighter who wants to keep it at range. You've got the shorter fighter who needs to try and move that upper body, get up tight, and really get to work up close with those hooks and body work. But he just couldn't quite bring it to bear, Pantelev. Sejdrak Simov had it in the tank to just move around him, keep him turning, keep him moving and just keep throwing those hands accurately enough and with enough power on them to keep his man off and the point deduction went because he just kept just tapping him around the back of the head for absolutely no reason when, when Pantelev had, had spun around it's a habit he needs to, to get out of can't be giving away points in these three round fights and having a good day Uzbekistan now having a very good